Hi everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee on this uh, Sunday. I want to start off just to show you with the uh, overall upper air jet stream pattern and, and I kind of want you to think of this uh, as railroad tracks where air masses move from west to east. The only difference is unlike the standard railroad tracks, these tracks are constantly moving and shifting around and uh, that means that the train winds up going to different destinations sometimes than you would otherwise appear. So right now you've got the, the jet stream running west to east right along the Canadian border or just south of it. And we have this big upper high here in the eastern states, which is really pretty much protecting us from uh, anything tropical and also keeping things dry from a rain standpoint. Now, <clears throat> these indentations, these disturbances mark uh, separations between one air mass and another. And there's uh, a little dry air mass that's going to be coming in probably for Monday night and Tuesday. So... Uh, today looks like a really good day. Tomorrow looks like a good day, too, just that it'll be a shade more humid on Monday. Monday might be a lot like yesterday, like Saturday was. Then another dry air mass comes in. And as we move through the week, what happens is that uh, this upper air system is going to strengthen in eastern Canada, and an upper air disturbance comes through here Wednesday evening. So we'll get a cold front through here Wednesday evening. I don't know how much will be with that front, if anything, at all. And then a shot of cool, dry air for Thursday, Friday, and maybe even into the start of the Labor Day weekend before uh, this lifts up and we go back to the same story all over again. Now, I just want to point out that while the pattern remains like this, this upper air pattern going from west to east, you can't really get anything tropical that develops down here from turning up the eastern seaboard. Even if it did, it were to hit these westerly winds aloft and then kind of curve out. So we, we remain essentially in the tropics unless you see the flow, the jet stream flow coming almost straight from the south, which doesn't happen too often, or south-southwest. Um, it's kind of hard to bring tropical systems up our way. So we, you know, we'll just keep an eye on things to see how uh, this all uh, plays out. I'll just show you real quick in terms of uh, temperatures and how we're going at this in terms of above and below normal and uh, we'll we'll get a little tighter uh, view here for you and you can see here let me just back it up um, so we're going to be near or above normal for the start of the week Tuesday it gets down closer to normal a little bit above normal in the afternoon about five degrees or so above normal uh, then uh, Wednesday uh, another warm day five degrees plus above normal. And you got to remember, by the way, that normals are dropping now. So, you know, the average high now is down in the low 80s <clears throat> and not in the middle 80s. And then on Thursday, you start to get that cooler air to come in. You see temperatures averaging about five or more degrees below normal per the GFS into Friday and Friday night. And still some leftover near or slightly below normal temperatures on Saturday into Saturday night before uh, it, it gets up to even again next Sunday. And by the way, the weather looks very good through the Labor Day holiday weekend at this point, barring any kind of last-minute surprises. So um, that pretty much covers it all. Uh, I don't expect much in the way of rainfall this week. Um, when we look at uh, the overall surface map, and I'll just back it up real quick, uh, here's a weather front that comes through uh, for late Monday, nothing with that. And here's one that comes through on Wednesday with that cooler air, and there's very little with that. And then as we uh, right, take you right into through Labor Day, um, the models are not really showing anything. So unless there's some sort of tropical surprise, uh, the weather looks great <clears throat> as we uh, see the last days of, uh, of uh, summer vacation will slowly winding down. Have a great day. High temperatures today in the low to mid 80s, sunshine for the most, uh, most part all day long, and a nice breeze coming in from off the ocean.